from natural objects to space phenomena we have trouble explaining. Join me as we explore strange and mysterious objects found in space. Number 7. Oumuamua What is an Oumuamua? Well, it's technically the universe's first interstellar object, one that was found in 2017 by scientists. What does interstellar object mean exactly? That would be an object that is flying through space yet that isn't tied to gravity or pull of a star or other object. So basically, it's something that is hurtling through space on its own without anyone's help. Unlike things like comets and asteroids, which are given direction and form via things like collisions and planetary gravity. This is why Oumuamua is so special in the eyes of scientists. Because at points in their research on it, they found that Oumuamua was actually going faster and faster as it traveled through space, even though it wasn't passing through anything or by anything that would allow it to do that. Technically speaking, there are other objects in the universe that move around like Oumuamua, but because of the oddity of the object, as well as the fact that it's over 3,000 feet in length, there are many people who feel that this isn't some kind of random space object. Instead, they think of it as an alien craft. No, really, people honestly felt that this was an alien craft of some kind to the extent that there was heavy research into thinking about what it would mean if it was an alien craft. But then a study came out in 2019, all but proved that this was a comet, albeit an irregular one, even going so far as to state how it gets extra propulsion via its movements and gases that are emitted. The study's overall reasoning seems sound, and the results are a really good match to the observed characteristics of Oumuamua. Marco Michelli, a scientist at the European Space Agency, told Scientific American. But others still aren't convinced that Oumuamua is a comet. It does not look like at least 99.999% of the solar system's comets, Avi Loeb, astrophysicist at Harvard University, also told Scientific American. Loeb is also one of the scientists who thinks Oumuamua might be an alien artifact. This would hardly be the first time that people think that an object from space is an alien craft or device of some kind, but it would be the first time that it happened in the modern era to such a degree. So is it a comet or is it something more? Only time will reveal the true answers to this mystery. Number 6. El Gordo Galaxy Cluster When it comes to weird objects in space, size doesn't always matter. And in truth, sometimes it's the biggest things out there that are the ones that we need to keep an eye on in terms of strangeness and mysteriousness. For example, El Gordo may mean fat one in Spanish, but in regards to the galaxy cluster that it was named for, it's representative of just how massive the cluster is. And trust me when I say that this thing is massive. In fact, it's the largest galaxy cluster ever observed by scientists, which is quite impressive when you think about it. And at present, as best we can tell, it has more mass than our sun by a scale of 3 million billion. No, I didn't mistype that. That is a very real scientific number and further proof of how massive the cluster itself is. The size of this cluster is what has drawn many to it, not surprisingly, as it's strange how this cluster contains so much especially when you consider that it's 9.7 billion light years from us, which means that getting to it would be a literal impossible journey without advanced technology to help get us there. You almost have to wonder about all the things that reside within El Gordo Galaxy Cluster to allow it to have such mass. Is there just a lot of matter that somehow ended up there? Is that the gravity of the cluster is so massive that it just continues to pull in objects and such to give it more mass? What exactly is going on here? No one really knows the answer, which again is why people study it. Another interesting fact about this galaxy cluster is that it emits a large amount of X-rays. And according to Philippe Manetineau, who studied the cluster, it emits more than any other galaxy cluster out there and beyond. X-rays, as noted, are somewhat common in the universe via galaxies. But why does El Gordo emit so many of them? Curiouser and curiouser. Number 5. The Red Rectangle Nebula There are a lot of things out there in the universe beyond solid objects, and what such thing is cosmic gases. Oftentimes, the universe has massive gas clouds that are formed from former planets, dying stars, and even cosmic radiation. 
and sometimes it's just the particulate matter of the universe that helps make these things. Anyway, these gas clouds are a big must-watch things for astronomers and scientists because they can reveal various things about the universe, as well as be shaped in very interesting ways, including one known as the Red Rectangle Nebula. Why does this one get the attention of scientists when it's just a rectangle-shaped gas cloud? Well, because it's a rectangle-shaped gas cloud. Think about it. Whether in space or on Earth, gas is something that is hard to contain in shape. What's more, you can't exactly force it into a hard shape, as gas always tries to find a way out. Which brings us to the problem of the Red Rectangle Nebula. How is it shaped so perfectly like a rectangle, despite being out in space with no potential constraints? Get the mystery now? One answer that has been offered has to do with what is at the center of this nebula, mainly a pair of stars. Stars emit gravity and it's believed that these two stars are shaping the gas nebula in a way that isn't fully understood. But that's just a theory and hasn't been confirmed as of yet. Here's another thing to ponder. The nebula actually glows red, and no one is quite sure why. Number 4. Radio Signals The search for alien life has led to many advances in not just space technology, but how we interpret messages from space. And by messages, I mean the signals from space that are sent out via various instances and events. You might think that space is a quiet place, but it's actually the opposite. Space is noisy, and all sorts of emissions are made via the natural creation and destruction that the universe goes through. Planets dying or having storms, galaxies fusing together or blowing apart, it all makes noise and we have technology that can hear it. But what is mysterious though is that sometimes we pick up signals that we don't understand, and it makes us wonder if there are indeed things out there in the universe trying to communicate with us. One of the most famous of these radio signals is the WOW signal, which was a repeating signal of numbers that continues to this day, and a repeated signal isn't something that is picked up in space that often without a definitive explanation. And that's hardly the only time that a signal from space has been found to repeat. One group of scientists had a theory about signals in space and sifted through all the data that NASA and other groups had collected from space signal-wise. They found the code that they had theorized about over 50 times. That's hardly random. So you tell me, is this just some random coincidence, some unexplained natural phenomena, or is this something more? Is this proof that life is out there? and we just haven't cracked the code of it yet? Could we not be alone in the universe? Could there be life signaling us? Number 3. The Green Orb Should you require a little more concrete proof that life might be out there in the universe, how about a sighting from an actual astronaut? Many men and women have gone into space over the years, and sometimes what they see is beyond explanation, and it makes you wonder what exactly they saw or didn't see. One such sighting was found by Major Gordon Cooper, who did an orbit around the Earth. When he was making said journey, he saw something come to him, a green orb. To be more specific, his journey partook him flying the Mercury craft around the Earth in 1963. Usually this is part of the story where we tell you that he was the only one to experience the green orb, or that he was suffering from some kind of space illness. But here's the catch he wasn't the only one to detect it. The radar that was following him on the mission and they too saw the object, to the extent that they could tell that not only was it real, but it wasn't a light trick or a mirage. Though the story was leaked out to the media, when Cooper landed back on Earth in one piece, they weren't able to ask him about the incident, likely because NASA didn't want the focus of the media to be about the green orb, instead of the heroic trek that Cooper had just done as this was still in the very early stages of the Earth space program. Here's an account that he gave to the United Nations in regards to what he believes he saw both in space and during other encounters that he had while being a pilot. I believe that these extraterrestrial vehicles and their crews are visiting this planet from other planets. Most astronauts were reluctant to discuss UFOs. I did have occasion in 1951 to have two days of observation of many flights of them of different sizes, flying in fighter formation, generally from east to west over Europe. Quite curious, isn't it? He doesn't seem to be lying, and to do such a big hoax in front of the United Nations takes some major stones if you get my drift. And again, the radar saw the green orb, 
So what was it? Number 2. Planet 9 I want to dedicate this particular entry to the memory of Pluto, who was a planet for 76 years before being demoted to a dwarf planet. We'll never forget you, Pluto, and you'll always be a character in Disney. Nothing can change that. Anyway, because our solar system now has eight planets, the further examination of what is and isn't within our solar system is more important than ever before. And because of this, there are some scientists who believe that there is a true Planet 9 in orbit around our Sun, albeit in a way that is both curious and weird. This reveal came in 2014, when an astronomer named Dr. Scott Shepard found 2012 VP113, a dwarf planet like Pluto that was orbiting around the Sun, but at a distance much farther than most planets in our confirmed solar system. The trick, though, is that the orbit that this dwarf planet was going on was very atypical, to the extent that it was just plain odd. Nothing is currently known in the solar system that could create 2012 VP113's orbit, says Shepard. An odd coincidence? Perhaps. But here's another catch for you. Most objects within our solar system have been found to share similar atypical orbits like 2012 VP113. 10 so far. The odds of that happening within the same solar system? Not very likely at all. So what's the solution to the mystery? Many think that it's Planet 9. We just haven't discovered it yet, which is very mysterious when you think about it. A large planet could cause such atypical orbits because they're orbiting around it and not the Sun as they're closer to Planet 9. But where is this Planet 9? No one knows. But the hunt is well and truly on for it because it could change how we think about our solar system if it's proven to be real. Number 1. Black Holes there are objects within outer space that are both strange, mysterious, and terrifying. And without a doubt, the ones that are on the top of that list is black holes. Here's a hard definition for you if you need one. A black hole is a place in space where gravity pulls so much that even light cannot get out. The gravity is so strong because matter has been squeezed into a tiny place. This can happen when a star is dying. Most black holes are believed to come from dying stars, but technically speaking, there are other ways that they can form too. And as for the gravity part, that's selling it short. True light not being able to escape a black hole is impactful, but the power of gravity within a black hole is able to rip through stars, planets, and just about anything else that gets in its way. Needless to say, you want to stay away from a black hole. So where's the mystery? There's plenty when it comes to them, actually. First off, scientists have feverishly been trying to figure out what is in the center of a black hole, because there honestly shouldn't be anything as the compression that is within said black hole would crush just about anything. And yet there are signs that something could be in there. Then there's the strangeness of how there are so many black holes in the universe. True, there's none around our solar system that can heavily affect us, but if you look outwards, there are numerous. Why is that? Could they all really have been dying stars that collapsed on themselves? That seems unlikely. And some think the black holes can be used as wormholes to another part of the universe, but trying to prove that is difficult. Oh, and because light can't escape it, you can't exactly look at a black hole, as there's nothing to see. So you have to look at the areas around the black hole to see what is and isn't there. Strange and mysterious enough for you? Thanks for watching everyone. What did you think of these weird and mysterious objects from space? Which one of them is the strangest or most mysterious in your eyes? Do you know of other strange objects that are out there in space? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time on the channel.